let's start with what went right. Uh, the launch of our Hero 6 Black camera, our new flagship, uh, went extremely well and as planned. And Hero 6 Black was selling to forecast, so we're really happy with its sell through. The problem was more in our one year old legacy product, Hero 5 Black. And as we shared on our earnings call back in November, Hero 5 Black was soft in terms of sell through. And we were hoping that marketing programs and promotions we had planned for it would lift sell through, but it didn't. And uh, as a result, um, we missed the fourth quarter uh, because that Hero 5 Black was a very important product for us. But all of our data indicated that a price drop of $100 on both Hero 5 Black and Hero 5 Session would have significant impact on sell through. And that's what we've seen happen. Uh, since lowering the price $100 on both those products, we've seen more than a two times sell through lift on Hero 5 Black and three times sell through lift on Hero 5 Session. So what this proves is there's significant demand for GoPro at the right price. So when you talk about that Hero 6, that's the new flagship camera Nick, yes. that was introduced in late September. So you already had to knock $100 off that new flagship device, right? Well, we just lowered the price on Hero 6 Black yesterday on Sunday to align with our $199, $299, $399 pricing strategy. <clears throat> uh, but Hero 6 Black was already selling very strong at its original $499 pricing, but given the other price moves, uh, every indication was that our business uh, would improve if we lowered the price of Hero 6 Black as well. But that flagship was succeeding at $499. Let me ask you, Nick, because a big part of this release is significant layoffs at this company. Because you guys came in, you had about 1,200 employees. Now you're going to have fewer than 1,000. Um, you know, when we spoke in April, uh, I asked you at that point, was that the end of the layoffs? And you said, listen, that is, you expect the end of the layoffs. But here we are, another big round. Um, what happened there, Nick? Well, as you noted uh, at the beginning of the interview, we uh, shuttered our drone business. Um, Karma was successful in its category. It was the number two selling drone and $1,000 and up. But as we looked forward, uh, when we considered uh, the regulatory environment for drones, when we considered the amount <coughs> of investment in the category relative to the profit margins that are possible in that category, we determined that it just wasn't going to continue to be a sound business investment for us. Uh, the majority of our customers, um, more than four million a year uh, of our customers, are looking for us to make great cameras with a great app experience, and they're subscribing to our subscription program. That's what they want from us, not a drone, and so we're investing accordingly, and that resulted in some job cuts. Michelle, I think you had a, a question for Nick. Gordon, for joining us. Should, should GoPro be a standalone company? Would it help if you had a bigger company that helped you with marketing and distribution instead of relying on, on just one product? Have you thought about it? Has anybody approached you? Think about going private so you don't have to deal with the public markets? Oh, it's a very good point. And uh, I think what's very strong at GoPro is we have an incredible brand. Uh, we have historically proven that we build a terrific product. We've, we're always best in class in each category that we enter. Uh, if there are opportunities for us to scale awareness of GoPro globally by being a part of a bigger company, that's something that we would entertain. Uh, but of course, we need to run the business as though we're going to be independent and uh, we're planning accordingly and we're looking forward to uh, benefiting from the improved sell through we're seeing on all of our products at their new pricing. Uh, and we're looking forward to profitability in the, in the second half of 2018. But if there's opportunities for us to unite with a, a bigger parent company to scale GoPro even bigger, that is something that we would look at. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.